Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to episode four of RB Plays Enigmatica 5. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world. We're doing all the cool modded things. My name is RB Plays. I'm your humble host on this side of the screen. Thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, then please, please, please do hit that subscribe button, get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. So last time we were together, we did a couple of things. Number one, uh, we put in, we went to the nether, we put in a nether portal and uh, this happened. Um, but I fixed it inside, I put in a floor. So now you can't see the uh, nether rack underneath the floor. Apparently in this mod pack, there is something in here that takes the nether portal and turns the uh, essentially seven blocks out from the nether portal uh, it changes it to nether rack and it does it down quite a ways too. like you can see uh, That it goes all the way down there So and I'm guessing that if it was if there were blocks above it like dirt blocks it would turn those to nether rack as well um, Yeah, I don't know anyhow so that uh, that being said I just put a floor in here. So You know, so now we don't have to look at it Looks kind of cool, right? Um, we also, uh, we had to go to the nether because we wanted to build this guy. Uh, and this guy is the uh, controller from XNet. And what it does is it allows us to have a uh, kind of a storage system kind of a thing, kind of a processing system kind of a thing. Uh, we also built a metallurgic infuser and did some stuff with that. Um, and so, uh, so I, I, yeah, we did a lot of cool things, right? Uh, this thing has been uh, has been functioning fairly well. Uh, there's a couple of things that uh, were left in some comments uh, that I want to get to real quick. Number one, uh, first and foremost, by the way, I looked into XNet. You cannot. This is the recipe for the XNet book. You cannot craft it. Um, so I'm not sure why. Like, I'm not sure why we don't get a book, but I would love to have an Xcent book. Uh, but I'm on watching a couple of videos. There are some cool tutorials out there for it. And I think we're, uh, I think we're in good shape. I would like to make a sleeping mat, um, but I don't have, uh, I don't have all the stuff. Like for a sleeping mat, I need, uh, I need leather, which I, I don't know how I got leather. Actually, I do know how I got leather. It may, it may have involved wandering traders. Um, and we also need uh, red wool. So I need to make a pair of shears. I have a pair of shears. Uh, we need to go find a, a sheepy sheep and get ourselves a couple of pieces of wool and dye them red, but we need red dye and yeah, you know, it's just, it's a process. Um, but that'll allow us to do more exploring and such, but I really wanna get this thing running today. But I also had a couple of comments and one of them was, hey, you should look up the hammer. So we're gonna look up the hammer. There's a wooden hammer, there is a stone hammer, there's an iron hammer, there's a gold hammer, there's a hammer hammer. Uh, there's all kinds of different levels of hammer. Uh, and essentially what you need are, you know, for like this one, you just need, we do need beams. Whoa. So stripped logs, stripped logs, two stripped logs make beams. Aha, okay. Well, that's cool. Uh, and then also we have stone, so it looks like you can put in any kind of stone, polished or otherwise. Uh, you can also do iron, but I don't have enough iron to make an iron one, so we'll probably just make a stone one. Um, can I just make a stone one? Can I make a diorite? Do I, have, do I have diorite or something? Like polished diorite or whatever. Uh, I don't have any. Really, I don't have any diorite. How do I not have any diorite? Have I been just throwing that stuff away? Maybe. It's possible. It's very possible. Uh, anyway, stone hammer. I think we can just do regular stone or maybe smooth stone. Yeah, we just do regular stone. So we'll just do that. So give me one, two of you. And then we do that. And we do that. And we do that. Yeah, buddy. That gives us a stone hammer. We'll have to go check that out here in just a minute. Uh, the other thing that I was told to do is to get a uh, is to get a grindstone and put glass in it, right? Uh, also, uh, someone commented about what time of day is it? It's getting late. Of course it is. Do I have shears? Let's get that. Let's see if we can get that. Uh, see if we can find a sheep to get some some wool from real quick. Um, and then we're going to get into the rest of the episode. Uh, but I was told that I should find, uh, that I should get uh, an alloy smelter. Uh, and so we might look at that today as well. It'd be really good to find a sheep out here someplace. Like where are all of the sheepies? Sheepy sheepies. I see cows. I see chickens. I see horses. I see whatever those wispy things are. I see a big hole with water in it. Hmm. Um, okay. I don't see, however, I don't see any sheep. 
I don't think I killed all the sheep, did I? Shouldn't have killed all the sheep. I'm super excited to be able to get out there into the water and, and get our base going. Uh, but there's a couple of things that we absolutely need. What is this? I haven't seen this yet. Is that oil? That looks like oil. Interesting. It makes a spooky noise when you look at it. I don't think it was the water. I don't think it was that that made the spooky noise, though. Uh, anyway, can't find a sheep right now. That's kind of odd. Ooh, but I hear zombies. Um, anyhow, we'll get back to that in a minute. We'll just sleep the night away, and, and then we'll find a sheep later. Um, but yeah, I was told that we should also find a uh, an alloy smelter, so let's take a look at that. But what I really want to do today is get this XNet thing working, because I've got this bonsai tree, right? And it's pumping out oak logs like crazy, and I'm thinking I've got a way that I can power this, or its successor, as it were, uh, into uh, uh, power this thing automatically using uh, using XNet. Um, so let's take a look at the uh, at the alloy smelter. There's a basic one, and also a uh, just a regular. There's a basic alloy smelter and an alloy smelter. I'm guessing we have to do the alloy smelter first. But the big thing about that is it needs copper, and I haven't found any copper. It also needs tin. I haven't found any tin yet either. So yeah, that's uh, that's unfortunate. So how do you get? You get tin. It's tin ore, so it's from Silence Mechanisms, and that's cool and all. Uh, it's nighttime, so let's go ahead and sleep. Um, but yeah, I want to. I want to. I, I want to get this thing working. So the first thing that we're going to need. Let's first of all, let's get rid of all this because that doesn't work. Uh, we're going to need some string, uh, and I want to get some XNet cables. So at XNet, XNet uh, to make the XNet cables. First of all, you need uh, this. It could just be a blue network cable, sure. You need some kind of blue dye. You need gold nuggets. You need redstone. You need string. We're only going to be able to make like 16 of these because they only have five pieces of string. So that's unfortunate. But we do need uh, we do need some redstone, which I have four pieces. We're going to need some uh, blue dye, which I have some of that here, floral blue powder in this case. Um, but we should be able to... We're missing a gold nugget. I have those. I have I have blue. I have those. That's awesome. Uh, so give me one of those. Give me one of those. And there we have XNet cables. Now the other thing that you need is XNet connectors. So where is the connector? Is it this guy? It's not that guy. Blue connector. Blue connector. Yeah, blue connector. So we need a connector, which is going to be more blue dye. It's going to be gold. It's going to be a chest. Okay. Should be able to handle that. Get some wood. Wait, we have lots of wood. <laughs> uh, let's get some wood. We'll make a chest. Like a so. We need to make some more blue powder, which we can do. I don't want to use up all of my plants just yet, but I do need to need to be careful not to use all them all of them because that could be a problem but we'll do that we'll do that we'll do that and yes before you before you make any comments I do know how to grow more of the uh, of the botania flowers so that's cool uh, blue connector so we just need a chest wait a minute did I make a chest oh you can't oh ah okay good Whew. I was gonna say you can't do that so I need some redstone and I need some gold so there's some gold let's get a little bit more redstone from here that should be enough uh, and then we just need a blue connector oh you only get one of these man those are expensive but that is uh, that is super uh, super neat so what I should be able to do is I should be able if I make more of those what I can do is I can use this to put items onto and off of a network. So if I like, if I put this connector on here right now, right, if I just do that, right? See how we got a chest in there now? Uh, I can also, if I think, if I remember right, you can name this thing, yeah, I can. So this is, uh, we're gonna call this, um, we'll call this valuables, maybe, sure. Uh, yeah, cool. So now if I go back in here and hover over that, yeah, see how it takes the name of valuables? So what I'm wondering is can I hook this up? If I break you, I haven't tried this yet, but if I break you and I put you onto a furnace, see where I'm going with this maybe? 
If I put you onto a furnace, give me the furnace, like so. Give me the connector, like so. Do you connect to the furnace? You do. Now, I need to be able to insert fuel into this. I need to be able to input uh, items into this that we want to have smelted. So fuel here, items here, and then I also need to be able to extract uh, because what I want to do is I want to take the, the charcoal, that I want to take the wood that we have here, extract it, insert it into this, get it turned into charcoal. Once the charcoal is made, then we extract the charcoal and put it into this. How cool would that be? I think that would be amazing. So let me play around with this a little bit. I got to make a few more things. I got to make a few more of the connectors and so forth. But let me uh, let me play around with this a little bit and I'll come back to you when I've got something that's uh, that's potentially worth showing you. Yep, I love this hammer. Ooh, tin. Okay, I think I got this guy figured out. So what I want to do is I want to set him up so that uh, so that we pull <laughs> wow, this thing's basically full now. Uh, I want to set him up so that we basically pull all of this stuff out of all of the logs out of here and run them into a uh, into a furnace, uh, and then from there we can take the uh, we can take the other items out of the furnace and um, and and use them to kind of power the base a little bit. So I, we're probably going to have to move this. So first things first, let's uh, let's clean up our inventory. Just a fuzz. Uh, get rid of some of this, get rid of some of that, 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 that. I, this hammer's nice, I'll tell you. Um, okay, so that takes care of that. So we should be able to... Can I break this? Yeah, okay, so that takes care of that. Um, I want to put... need to grab you need to grab you um need to get this out of the way this is in the way we'll put you in here i guess for now uh no not you you um so we need to hello wandering trader we need to make it so that we have a chest that is readable for items so let's go ahead and put this chest down like so. Uh, let's go ahead and make. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Wandering trader. Hi. How you doing? I'm really sorry you had to see that. Anyway, back to the. Back to in here. <laughs> um, so we need to get the controller. I want the controller set up in such a way that. Um, hmm. I want the controller up here, I think, for now. So we'll put the controller there. We'll put the. Oh, wow. Yeah, you. that's not what I wanted. Do I like this? Do I, you look better? Yeah, you look better that way. <laughs> uh, okay, so in here I had some channels set up. Um, we'll 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 play with that here in a second. Uh, but first things first, we want to have a connector. Uh, we're going to need to open up the back of this, I think. Yeah, we're going to need to open the back of that because. You need to be like that. Ooh. Well, you connect to power, though. That's that's okay, actually. We'll put you there. Uh, we'll put the bonsai pot here. Then we put this in there like so. And then we put the sapling in there like so. And that should grow. You don't grow because there's not enough room. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, so this has to move then. You're going to grow now? Yes, you will. Okay, perfect. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. So what we'll do is we'll put you there. We'll, 
put you there. That'll work. Uh, and then on top of you, we're going to put the pitiful generator because it's pitiful. Uh, you should power that. That's fine. Come out here. Break that. Yes. Ooh, and then E. Well, it'll be fine. It'll be all right. We'll make this work. Again, starter hut, right? So on here, then, we want you to be a connector. We're going to call you the generator. Okay. We're going to call you the controller, obviously. We're going to call this one over here uh, input. And then the furnace, we need a furnace and we need to be able to access all of the sides of the furnace. So let's grab a furnace. Ooh, I only have two connectors left. Is that a problem? I don't, I don't know if that's a problem or not. You're loud. Let's grab this furnace. I may need to make one more of these connectors. But we're going to put him here. Actually, I should have. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll put that like that. We'll break out the bottom and the top. Um, oh, I know what the, I know what's different about it this time. In my test world, I had these two like right next to each other, so I was using one connector to do both things. Um, can't really do that here. That's going to be like that. Then we're going to need a piece of cable here. Like so. And we're going to have one right there. We're going to need to make one more. So let's, uh, let's close this up. Like that. Uh, we need... Should be four of those. Should be one of those. Should be... A chest. I'm going to be good at this recipe, that's for sure. And then at Xnet. Blue connector. Yeah. Cool. Forgot the redstone, but that's okay. Uh, and then you can go right there like that. And then on the outside, we'll set you like that. Sure. Yeah, that works. And then if I do that, we can call this uh, furnace output. We can call this up here for, wow, furnace input. And then this one here will be furnace fuel. Cool? Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, now we come inside here, and this is where we can start configuring everything. So, um, oh, you are, yeah, uh, here, okay. All right, so as you can see here, we've got uh, a connector for the controller. We've got the actual controller block. Uh, that's also an energy cable. We have, uh, oh wait, where's the chest? The chest isn't hooked up. We gotta fix that. Yep, we gotta bring we gotta bring this around. Sort of like that. There, now it's hooked up. There we go. 
So now we've got a uh, we've got an input chest, we've got a generator, we've got a furnace and all that. So basically what we want to do now is we want to set this up. So this channel here on this we want to create that is going to be an extract. We want that to pull out uh, we want that to pull out logs. Okay, um, we want it to then take the logs and we want it to put the logs into furnace output, furnace input, furnace input. So we're going to go furnace input, insert, yep, insert logs. Okay, um, and that should take care of that one. Then we're going to go to this channel. And we're going to tell it that we want to, whoops, no, not that one. Uh, we want to create a output, hello, loudness, uh, create an output of charcoal, right? We want that charcoal to do two things. We want that charcoal to go back to the fuel no, this is an output, sorry, uh, extract, single item. We also want it to be round robin. That should be round robin. Uh, and then we want it to take and put the fuel as an insert, like so. Uh, but I only want it to have like 16 uh, charcoal in it, right? That's, that's kind of an important thing. Um, so we've got that, and then we also need to get it and send it to here as an insert uh, charcoal. Uh, and we're going to also make that, uh, we'll say 16, because I don't want this thing to run all the time, right? I want it to, I want it to kind of do its thing. So now, right, now nothing is happening here. Is it daytime? It's getting ready to be nighttime, so let's sleep just to make sure that no baddies come along. Our our base is not exactly <laughs> is not exactly uh, uh, yeah our base is not exactly um, uh, secure at this point. Basically, what this thing's going to do is this is going to keep it running for the most part the whole time. So now we should be able to say, okay, you go ahead and run. So you're going to extract that and insert it there. Cool. So you, you can go ahead and run. So we'll enable that, and that should, provided we take one piece of charcoal and put it in there like so. Whoops. It should be putting, yeah, it's putting fuel in there. Great. Get rid of that. And then we want to take, and we also want to enable, we also want to enable the second channel. Cool. And we're going to need to get you going like that. And this thing should, at this point, should become pretty well self-sustaining. We'll let it run for a minute while we do another... Uh, another little thing. First thing I want to do is I want to build, <laughs> I want to get this sleeping bag. Ooh, we need to turn you into uh, petals, but we only have one of you, so give me those. We'll go outside, we'll do this real quick while that runs and get away from that stinking nether portal. So you and you, you and you. Nice. Uh, and then gives us four, gives us eight of those. We'll do that one more time, like so. Cool. And then that gives us some of those. We can turn that into red floral powder, which we should be able to use to make uh, some red wool. Yeah, we can. Uh, and then sleeping bag or sleeping mat. Need a couple of you. Hmm. There we go. Sleeping mat. Yes, please. Cool. Turn that off. All right, how you working? You're getting charcoal in. 
you're not getting charcoal in yet, but that's because the, the round robin on this seems to be messed up a little bit. Um, like, you're supposed to extract and go to the first available. That's fine. You're supposed to extract and go... I, I'm pretty sure that order is round robin because this R&D, I'm guessing that that stands for random slot. It, slot. it could stand for round robin. No matter what I set it for in my creative world, it, it didn't it didn't do the it didn't do what I wanted it to do, which is fine. Um, but it's only going to try and get 16, uh, 16 charcoal in here. Once it gets sixteen charcoal in here, then it'll uh, it'll start filling that up, and we should have plenty of power to to finish that. Right, like this is going to keep going. Uh, it's almost done now. We only need to get two more, and it'll be fine. Seems to be working, yeah. And I also have a bunch of extra charcoal from when I was actually cooking it up over here. So I'm going to go ahead and top. Oh, you're actually coal. Oh, and you're iron. Sweet. I, made, I got iron. Nice. Cool. That gives us a little bit more iron, which is awesome. Um, you're going to keep on filling. I need to do something with the oak leaves, the sticks, uh, and all of that as well. But eventually, I think, I think this should become self-sustaining, yeah? Yeah. Um, and then we can add more onto it and make it uh, make it do its thing. But now the next piece that goes, yeah, there it went. Sweet, see, we got charcoal in there now. How about that stuff? That's awesome. Anyway, folks, I think that's gonna do it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below, and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we'll chat about it in kind. In between episodes, I'm going to go mining, use this fancy new hammer that I've got, also try to make a uh, upgraded one so that we can do a little bit more mining, uh, and hopefully we can get into some copper and some tin, and we can go down that alloy smelter uh, route that was also suggested in the comments of the last episode. But until then, thanks so much for watching. We are out of time. I do appreciate you being here. Until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.